Hello, my name is uh, Oren Gabay and today I'm going to speak about the FlexLM license file. So, how does it work with engineering licenses and specifically with uh, FlexLM? So, uh, let's look here and um, we see that in engineering licenses the process works like that. Uh, the vendor, in that case, the so the, the, the vendor that prepares the software and sells it to the customer, he provides the software but also a license file. That's a text file and within this file, in this file, we find the entitlements, what we are entitled and licensed to use. It goes to the customer, the customer puts it on the right place and then uh, the software starts to work. That's the way uh, it works and today we are going to review the structure and what's inside the license file. I must say that the license file uh, is, is a simple mechanism, text file, but um, very smart and uh, with a lot of cap capabilities. So we are just going to look on the tip of the iceberg. So, um, let, let's start with the uh, content of the, of the file and um, the first line that we are going to see is the server line. So, um, I, I, I wrote this, the, the keywords in black and whatever is changing I wrote in uh, green and we'll speak about that. So, let's focus on the server line now. We see that the keyword is the server, we always find that first line in the in the license file and then we see the name of the server so can be a server one for example or whatever name you have for your license server then we have the MAC address so here we have numbers and uh, and, and and letters um, and then we have the port so uh, traditionally you will see something like that but it can be another number so that's, that's the port, and in, Flex, in FlexLM there are two ports. One is the FlexLM port, this is the FlexLM port, and the second is the vendor port, and we'll see how it works. So that's, that was the server line, we're, we're looking on the second line, the vendor line. So the vendor line is about the vendor that actually implemented FlexLM into his software. So uh, in that case I took the vendor as OpenLM, uh, that's the name of the vendor, but you might find many different names of uh, vendors that are using it. Um, and, and here it ends typically. So these are optional things that might show and might not, but let's, let's check it anyway because it's interesting. Uh, here we have openlm.opt so we see that this is actually a file name so what's in that file this is the flexlm options file so we specify that there is an option file and when the license server is reading the, the, the license file he knows okay I will also look for the option file what's inside the option file I will talk about that on another occasion uh, and then we have another thing that is optional. You can actually edit by yourself. So what's this port? That's the vendor port. And um, if, if you don't set it, so if it's not there, uh, FlexLM will assign a port and it's dynamic, which, which has benefits. But if, if you want to access your license server from outside the network, you need to tell your firewall let this traffic go through and if you want to do it you have to have set port so in that case you set this port here and this is also a, a typical number that people use but you can use any port number uh, and the, the last line that I'm going to uh, look into today in order to keep it uh, short is the feature line. That's, that's a very important line because this is actually what we are licensed to use uh, in FlexLM. 
the unit is the feature. That's a very critical thing. So feature is the keyword, and what do we have here? Uh, this is the name of the product. It can be anything. I took one of ours, so it's OpenLM router, but uh, it can be any name that uh, is the name of the product. Now, it's, it's typically there is a difference between the feature name and the actual uh, name of the product. So, for example, for in that case, um, we have OpenLM license router, and but here we can't put all of it. So it's it's just a, a short name. In other cases, you might see numbers or a combination of letters and numbers. This is the feature, but there is another product name that is used typically used by people. You won't see it here. Here it's only the feature name. Second is the vendor name. That's the same as here. So in that case, we wrote OpenLM. What's this? This is the version of the software. So uh, yes, in FlexLM, you can actually license for a version, which is a very important capability in licensing. And we are talking about version uh, 5.0. So, and then we have the expiration date. So that's also very important. So I might buy a subscription, and in that case, I will have an expiration date. Or I might bought a perpetual license, and in that case, I will have like unlimited time for the license. So I have a perpetual license, I pay maintenance every year, I can use it. But when I stop paying maintenance, I can still use it, but I can't update to new versions. Next is a critical thing, very important number, that's the number of licenses. Uh, that's the amount of entitlements I have, and this is here in this example 20. And after that, you will see a, a very long gibberish screen, a string. That's the uh, encryption, actually. So um, if you don't have the right string here, license server will know that somebody messed up with the uh, with the code here and won't run this license file. So here you you can never change it. Um, and last thing I wanted to explain is about increment. That's that's a very nice thing. So it's exactly the same as feature. So let's take this out and this time we have an increment. What's the difference between a feature and increment? Increment is something we add. So I did, I had like five, uh, 20 licenses, I now give an increment of another 20 licenses. Oh, um, I uh, have this OpenLM license router feature, now I want to uh, add the directory synchronization. So I, I contact the vendor and say, I, I want to test the directory synchronization. Say, okay, no problem, I give you a license for 30 days. In that case, you will typically give me an increment with um, an end date, so I can try it. So um, today we presented the option, the FlexLM uh, license file which is a very simple uh, file, but uh, with uh, a lot of capabilities and uh, a very smart one. Um, we will further dive into this in, in the next session, and I would like you uh, to thank you for taking the time to, to, to listen.